Jeff, Kelly, and Mud Flap. 96.3 K-Triple L. All right, let me go ahead and uh, set the scene for you. I enter into the visitor's locker room, and, and placed right beside each player is a piece of rotten, moldy cheese. <laughs> All the players and coaches, they kind of have that, that puzzled look on their faces as to why the cheese is there, but... Coach Tuberville looks at me and he smiles and says, I, I smell what you're cooking. Gentlemen, let me break this down to your Barney style. Gentlemen, you will notice right beside you is a rotten, hairy, molded piece of cheese. I'd like for you to right now to pick it up and eat it. That's right. Pick it up. Eat it. Stuff it in your mouth and chew. Try not to gag. I don't need a bunch of fur balls on the floor. Tastes kind of nasty, don't it? Yuck. Well, I see a lot of yakking. I see a lot of disgust on your faces. As well there should be. Because I want you to remember this taste. Because that's the taste we all felt last year losing all those games. Gentlemen, why are you swallowing your hairy piece of cheese? You know what's funny about all this? Is the mold in that rotten cheese is actually used to make a healing medicine for people who are sick. It's called penicillin. And gentlemen, we were sick last year. Those losses, they left a bitter taste on our mouths. And I don't want to go down that path again. Boyhood friend Jerry Wheeler always said, luck always favors the well-prepared. I want to tell you a story. Gentlemen, I grew up with a friend who had a dad. And this dad knew a buddy who had a friend who knew a friend whose cousin was a guy he worked with, and he knew a friend of a close friend who knew this guy who played football who once dated the sister of a guy who played basketball. And this guy who played basketball apparently sucked. He missed over 9,000 shots all the games he played in. Not to mention, he lost somewhere in the range of 300 games. He failed miserably. His name was Michael Jordan, who overcame all obstacles and became the greatest basketball player ever. You see, he found a way to succeed even when he failed. That's why he became the greatest basketball player ever. Not because of his so-called failures, but because he wasn't afraid to fail. And my memories of Michael Jordan are only those of his passion. His passion to never quit and to be the best. Gentlemen, listen closely. No one expects you to beat Kansas State except me. Risk must be taken because the greatest hazard in football in life is to risk nothing. I expect to win, nothing less. You must fight through the challenges and the obstacles. A Red Raider doesn't follow, he leads. It's time to show the nation we're for real. It's time to stop yakking those fur balls from our past and move forward. It's time to give Kansas State a dose of their own medicine and pound them on every snap. Gentlemen, it's time for Red Raider football! Kelly and Mudflap 96.3 K-Triple-L.